So we're gonna get started on the video right now. Okay, the first stop was the bins and hat is not for sale. This is one of my hats that I got with my gift card for Christmas from my daughter. Um, we're going to get into what we got at the bins. We did go to the bins. If you guys don't know what the bins are, if you're just tuning in also, my name is Rock. I'm a reseller and I do that full time. Um, I buy things that are undervalued and sell them for a profit, um, sell them more on like eBay Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Market, whatever. I do mostly eBay. eBay is my breadwinner. And um, <clears throat> so we did go to the bins and we did find some stuff. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let's get started. Okay, my niece did go with me. Um, my niece Harley, she did pick out a few things. This was one of the things I've seen this radio before. Um, I I didn't pick it up last time because it was expensive. Um, we did get this at the bins. Did we get this at the bins? We got this at the... She's actually over there listing for me. Um, we did get this at the bins. We did test it. We put a CD in and it works. It's awesome. They usually sell for about $25 plus shipping. So um, I'll probably list it for like $35. Um, I, don't, I may charge shipping for it or not. I'm kind of in between back and forth with shipping with heavier items. So I don't know. But um, it does have the power cord. It is also battery operated, but it does work. That's a bonus. It doesn't have an antenna though, which is kind of unusual. I think it's just a CD player, yeah. It doesn't have a radio, it's just CD. Um, yeah, it just has the knob, you just turn the knob on. Okay. So we did pick that up. I actually did find another radio today since we're on the topic of radios. Um, I did pick this up, we're kind of getting off of subject for stores but um this is actually a good find it's in very good condition this is a sony sony psych psyc um this is like got the sony walkman design on it at the top the little dots whatever but um really dope radio it's um cobalt blue you know whatever um navy blue i think it would cobalt maybe but it was only five dollars and that was the main reason why i picked it up but, um, okay, I had to stop a phone call. Um, it was, uh, for my son, which she can call the house phone. <laughs> His girlfriend is calling my phone, taking the sticker off of, but $5, I just couldn't pass it up. And, um, this radio sells for about $35, um, anywhere between like 30 and $50. It just depends on um, the condition of this radio is really good, but, I'm going to trade this out. I do have, um, I have a Memorex color. I have the box and everything for it. I did have the box. I don't even know where the box is. I don't know if I threw it out or what. But this is a really good radio as a tape player and a CD player. I can use it to test my stuff out. But the reason why I got it was because my mine is, let me see. Mine is broke and it doesn't shut. So, and it's driving me insane. This one plays CDs and it plays tapes too. So, um, I don't know if it eats tapes, but it does play. I did press play, but I didn't test it with a tape, so I'll have to do that later. But uh, anyway, really good find. These are cool. Be on the lookout for some of these Sony radios, um, be on, especially the really old radios, if you can find them. Not necessarily Sony, but um, um, the old boom boxes. The bigger, the better. A lot of them really big ones sell for a really, really high amount, like the big boom boxes with the double um, cassette decks, and they use them to, like, rhyme on and... Um, break dance and you know the old school big um the ones you could hold on your shoulder and you know so um a lot of times when you're at thrift stores they do have things they do have bibles and you can you're allowed to take a bible um i i seen this bible case and i was like you know what because a lot of times i found leather bound bibles um and uh they do sell i already have a really nice bible so i don't really need one Shh, don't tell anyone but um, sometimes you, if you can find a really good leather-bound Bible, no matter how you um, uh, how you um, pick it up, you can. It's got a hair on it or something. You can sell some of them for really good money. But I just thought that this was really cool. It's a really dope case. Um, my Bible actually might fit in this, so I'll have to I'll have to see if it fits. 
my Bible's a little dusty because I don't pick it up and read it like, like you're supposed to, but I picked up these golf balls too. These are medallion. These are vintage golf balls. I don't believe, I don't think that these were used. They don't look like it, but there's Spalding's in place of, well, there's, that one's a faultless. This one is a Spalding too. Um, I don't know. I guess they just kind of just threw golf balls in there. It's not a complete set, but there is three boxes in there that are complete. Um, I could not find these balls anywhere online. I'm going to have to keep looking for them. But um, I would imagine that they're probably worth money because they're vintage. I don't know if it matters when they're old, if you can still use them, if they're collectible. I, I'm not really sure. I just kind of went out on a whim on that and just kind of grabbed them. Um, my niece found this set. This is a real estate investor's um, college course, like a set for, I guess, to, so you can learn how to be a realtor or something like that. But this is a $30 set. Um, we didn't pay that much. We only spent like $20 total at the bins. So I think, what was our total at the bins? $21 or something. It wasn't that much. It wasn't more than $30. I know that. I, I think I can get about $30 for this set shipped and it will ship medium mail. So it will ship, um, probably for like five bucks, you know, maybe give or take, maybe less, maybe more. And I can't be 50. I still like rock and roll. I picked this hat up because it was only a dollar. We kind of got off. I'm sorry. I wanted to show you everything that I got at the bins, but, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, just kind of go and just grab and just show you guys what I got. Um, this was brand new with the tag on it. It was only a dollar. That's the main reason why I picked it up. It's just a really cool novelty hat. If I list it for like $19.99, um, it'll probably sell really fast. I don't know if it's vintage. It's made by Shoebox. I don't think so. I don't think it's an old hat. It just has an old, has an old style. And I'm certainly not anywhere near 50, so I don't need it. Picked this putter up. It was $2.00. It is a, make sure that when you guys photograph your, um, your putters, I've heard somebody say this before, make sure you're getting like a close up of, um, the putter or the, or the, the driver or whatever type of clubs that you guys are using. But, um, this is just a Dunlop putter. It was two bucks. I think it's, it's called an explosive. It's a Dunlop explosive. It's probably vintage. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It has a really good, um, grip on it. The grip's in great you know, like perfect condition. It's not sticky or anything. So it's just, it's just a good pickup. A quick flip. Um, maybe 25 for that, something like that. So we'll see. I picked this up for my wife. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm going to give it to her for Valentine's Day. She loves the nightmare before Christmas. I'm trying to be quiet. She's upstairs sleeping. That's something I found. Yeah, this is something that, um, this is something that Harley found. Really cool. Pop, um, it's a pop-up book. I don't even know what it's worth. I didn't look up the value. It has the Christmas theme. It's just really, look at that. That's dope, ain't it? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, man. Really cool. There's another. I just thought it was really, really cool. Look at, who's that? The Grinch? He looks like the Grinch. That's not the Grinch. It's, it's not the Grinch. Man. It's it's, the it's who? The it's the Boogeyman. Jack saves Sally and Sandy Claus by... Sh by shrieking his most horrifying shriek and bursting oogie boogie seams forever. Sandy would soon thank him with Hol Halloween Land's first snow. The end. Okay. And that will be my intro. How's that? Alright, so whenever you guys see things like this, like things that you, that they, they just look old. This is something that looked really old to me. I can probably get it 30 or more for this set. I don't see getting less than 25. I do believe that this is old. Um, the style is garden fruit, and this is just to cover your burners on your stove. Um, they're all the same size. Sometimes some of them are, some of them are smaller. I think, like to cover the smaller burners. But this is like the same size. Like I could use this on my stove. I think I have an old school stove, but this is brand new. Was never taken taken out of the box. I do believe that this is vintage. That this is old. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. The um. The company is Fitzmos Gas Stoves is Reston Lloyd. Reston Lloyd, not sure. All right, so I guess we'll figure it out um, once we cross that 
bridge. All right, so I did snag this bag on something, and I put a hole in the net. So I don't know if I'm going to give it to my granddaughter. I mean, my fingers are getting caught on it. Like, man, tough, tough, tough. All right. It is new. It tags. It is Hello Kitty. There's nothing in that pocket now, but we did fill it with stuff because when you go to the bins now, they don't give you boxes, and they don't give you anything to carry your stuff in. That's why all the carts were outside. Now I now I know why everybody left their cart out, because I guess everybody's probably aggravated now that they have to do that, and they just, you know what, I'm not bringing my cart back. All right, so somebody handed me this. I know a lot of people when I go out, and uh, people are always handing me stuff. I know this isn't worth a whole lot, but it's a pedometer for, like, walking and riding a bike or, you know, whatever. Probably just walk. I think it's just walking. And don't be afraid to scan things. I actually picked this Foreigner album up for me. I really love Foreigner. I like them older groups. Um, this, I think when I looked at it, it was, like, pretty good condition. Yeah, it's perfect. Like new. All right, so this is an Acura CD. Um... It's actually a DVD. Um, I don't know if it comes with the car or whatever the deal is, but this is a $25 um, sale all day. They're selling all day. So um, don't be, like I said, don't be afraid to scan things um, or look it up. This I had to look up. So I just said Acura ELS um, surround DVD and then it popped up and then I hit um, sold. And if you guys need help with that, just ask me and leave a comment down below and I will, I will personally um, get back to, you know, as soon as I can, um, if I see the message, usually I, I don't get on every day and check messages because I don't have a lot of followers, but I'm working on it. So yeah, that was definitely a great find. Awesome. Really quick flip. I bought these tea lights for, to put in with can some of the candles that I have. I'm going to add a tea, tea lamps with them. Um, this might even be worth money by itself. I don't know. I didn't look it up. I just grabbed them for like, just for to put in with candle sets to kind of, you know, to kind of um, brighten the deal or whatever, close the deal, something like that. I can't, I'm trying to think of the right word and it's just not coming out. All right, so I did check this out. This is $20. This is wet tail drops. This is for um, treatment for diarrhea. So we do have a hamster. I might want to hold on to this. I don't know. Um, I have to ask my son if his, if his, um, if his, his, um, it's not a gerbil. It's a, it's a hamster. I think it's a hamster. Is it a hamster? Maybe, I don't know. Whatever. I have to ask him if his hamster has diarrhea. So, you know, whatever. But anyway, that was $20. I scanned it. Um, I knew what this was as soon as I seen the case. I knew it was a DS case. So I opened it up and lo and behold, there's a game inside and it's the Pac-Man collection. So this game's probably only worth like $10, you know, maybe eight, eight or 10. It might surprise me. It might be worth a little bit more than that. Okay, so here's all the media. I'm going to take it out. Okay, so that was it for the bag. Brand new bag, and I rip it. Like, you know, I'm so upset about that because this is a brand new bag. Now it has a little hole in it. I mean, I might get a little bit less for it. I think the pack fell out. Where'd that go? Right here. It still has the fresh pack inside it, so we'll see. I may even give this to my granddaughter. It's really, really cute. It's a $30 bag. I mean, I don't know what it goes for online, but it was originally $30. And we have Men at Work. Um, we gonna rock down. No, wait. Who am I? I'm singing the wrong song. What is wrong with me? This is, um, you come from a land down under. Wind and blow and then thunder. Could you hear, could you hear that thunder? All right, so. I've never seen this um, box set before, but I know the, the um, Simpsons um, Hit and Run. This is a bestseller series, Sierra. This is a PC CD-ROM. The problem is, is that it's missing the first disc. But I grabbed it anyway, because if you have this complete, um, one did sell for $40, so I figured I, could, I should be able to get at least half for these. And the discs are perfect condition. They're immaculate. So this is just like an incomplete set. Disc three of three. Yeah, see? I only have two of three and three of three. I, d I have no idea why there's only why there's only two discs. There's no spot for another disc. Like, it was probably something that was in the middle, or but I still picked it up. If worse come to worse, I can just get rid of it. You know, no big deal. No harm. No harm, no foul. 
And I picked this Pokemon up. I wasn't going to, but they seem to be selling better when you have the, the whole collection. Um, this is just a really cool case. Um, they, if you have a bunch of them, you can get closer to $20 for all of them. Um, if you have at least like four of them. But um, this was one. I, I might be able to get 10 bucks for it. You know, I'm Probably not. I probably shouldn't have picked that up. But <clears throat> I did pick this DS case up because I know a lot of these Pokemon games go for a lot of money. So um, if, whenever you can pick up a case like this, like um, I have a Tricky, SSX Tricky for GameCube listed right now. I got an offer on it yesterday, but it was too low, so I turned it down. The game itself sells for good money. Some games, if you have an $80 game and you find the case for it, I would pick the case up because you can probably get 20 bucks just for the case. So you can sell empty cases. Just make sure that you put into your description and you're putting down um, in like the the item the item condition and in description that it's case only. That way they know that they're not going to get the game. So someone that's looking for a case only can also type that in and find it. So, but the reason why um, there was this was in another case and I was like I'm not just going to keep buying all these empty cases. So I put it in the case. This is actually um, so you can transfer files. I think this is so you can play games. I think what you do is you put the games on the mini, the micro. There it goes. Don't run it over. The micro S. I'm always dropping stuff. Like, I'm super butterfingers. This is why I never played football. Okay, so this is like a transfer. I'm really not sure. It says TT. HDS something, whatever. It's a DSTT for NDS, NDSL. I have no idea. So, I don't know. I'm guessing that that's what this is for. That you put all the games onto the mic. It's a way to transfer to play game, to like hack it, you know. So, I don't know what it's worth. Um, I think they're actually worth a good bit. I might need to add a card with it, but the cards are like $20. So, it's like... Man, it's just crazy. So, yeah, I don't know what this is worth, but I do have the case and the piece inside. Like I said, we only spent $20 total there. So somebody handed me this. I don't know what it's worth, but I grabbed it because it's new and sealed. And even if it's only worth $10, it's a quick flip. You can probably put that on Amazon too. Um, I've been doing pretty well with some of these older um, CDs, like the Slimline um, DVD cases. Um, not CD, DVD, but... So I picked that up, see how well that goes. Um, there was a couple of these. There was two of them. They're brand new. I don't know what this album is worth. Um, probably not much. Probably why no one picked them up. But I could be wrong. This could be a $15 CD. You never know. This might be new. Excuse me. Let me look at the date. Okay. It's a magnifying glass. Man, you can barely see that now. Oh, my goodness. 2018. So... It's not super old. It's not it's not new, but it's not old either. So it's only a couple years old. So, but it it is still an old album. So it's not worth too much. So found some Harry Potter books today. We hit the Harry Potter jackpot. I did pick up some media. Got some Fuji film. Um, these are always fifty cents. I usually just grab them when I can. It's kind of not even worth picking cassettes up like that anymore because even for fifty cents, it doesn't seem worth it. These might be worth a little bit more because these are... I might want to hold on to these in case I ever come across one of these players. Then I'll have a couple discs for it. So, But I, I don't know. Even then, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, another blank disc and another blank. So I got three and three. I got three of them and three, three of those. So These are TD, TDK, D90, and then... That's the receipt. Okay, so we got... This one was new. It's only worth like $12. I, I see one sold new for $12. I'll just include it in a set. This is one. That one is the first one. Then we got... This one is three. Prisoner of Azkaban. There's three. Then we have the Chamber of Secrets. There's two. I might have enough for another set again. So I just listed a set yesterday. I don't care if they're hardback or... Hard cover, soft cover. I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to list them. This one is four. Goblet of Fire. I think I need this one, actually. So I don't think I have that that one. And this one is, I think this is seven. Yeah, this is seven. 
This is Deathly Hollows, but this one is a. These are the these are the ones that are good. These are the good books. These are thirty five dollar books. Like, man, <clears throat> that's why people go on Amazon. And then if you think about it, people buy brand new books on Amazon, and they don't they spend more than that. Like, it's crazy. But it is what it is. Everybody has their own. They do their own thing. So this I seen on the way out the door at the Goodwill. This is a really cool Harley shirt. Um, I seen it like this, and I seen. I think I seen the back of it. It said something. Yeah, it said horsepower, and then I seen the Harley symbol through it. it. Actually has a skull. This won't fit my mother, will it? My mother-in-law. It's a size large, and I don't think that she'll fit a large. But um, I think it needs to be washed. It's a little. No, it's just. You know what? It's just dusty. So, it was five dollars. I'm not really sure. It's more of like a workout shirt. It's kind of like, yeah, I think it's just dusty. But still, it's a nice Harley shirt. It's got like that rubber type of decal on it. Five bucks. We'll see. All right. I have a pair of these listed. They're kind of still sitting. Um, this style might go a little bit better. These are actually a wide size 11. These are actually a bigger size. These are a bob. These are Bob's from Skechers. These are memory foam. So I got these at the bins, and this is the reason why they didn't sell in the Goodwill, because this is what they wanted for them. They wanted $20 for these. Like these, these are probably only maybe $40 new, maybe. Some of these are worth good money. The ones I have are Bob's for dogs. They have all the all the dogs on, they have a design. These are just plain. They're just plain slip-on. Like that's the reason why they have a hard time moving things, but hey, they, you know, it's their business, not mine. So, I found one, and Harley found one. I knew that I was going to hold on to it. I found, I had another pair of shoes today, too, but I couldn't find, these are Crocs. These are actually, like, I think these are new. I don't think that these were ever worn. I think that, because they're Disney, that... They didn't want, I don't think they wanted them, but check these out. They're Disney. They're the Disney Crocs. I seen these before and I didn't pick them up. They were priced too high, but I got these at the bins. These weigh nothing. Like literally, wow. These are really, really light. So there's one. She found one and I found the other. I was holding on to it because I was like, you know what? I didn't see that they were Crocs. I seen the, the, the Disney I've seen the Mickey Mouse, seen the Disney sign, and I went, oh, okay, these are nice. I mean, they're not the greatest color. I did do the bend on them, make sure they're not coming apart. They're made very well. They're made by Crocs, so um, there's no holes in them. I think that these are, like, practically brand new. So what do you think? 40 bucks? I think I can get at least 40 for these. I mean, if, if they're, like, new. Crocs Disney. All right, we'll have to check them out. I didn't even look them up. It was a no-brainer. It was just one of those moments where you're like, you already know. These I did look up. These are Body Glove. These are the Body Glove Barefoot 3. I see that some of the... Is that coming off? What is that? Is that coming off of these? Oh, no. It's not coming off of these, is it? No. No. These are in pretty good shape too. These are just like, what size are these? Not gonna fit me, are they? I'm trying to find the size on them right here. I don't even see the size. There's like no size on these. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm like, you guys, what are you doing? All right, so these are like the ones with like the feet. These are the ones that you want to look for. I didn't think that they were going to go for that much because I see people listing them new for like $40. So I was like, ah, then they're probably not worth that much. I did get these at the bins, so I didn't pay that much for these. These are super light. These are probably, these are absolutely shipped first class. And uh, I see people selling them for $30. So they're selling for almost the same amount um, as they're new as when they're used. And these are in like just perfect condition. 
awesome. So these are these will be a good sale. They might sell now to somebody in like Florida or something. Remember, because you don't have to sell seasonal. Things sell all year long. They're always selling. So don't be afraid to pick something up because you think that it's seasonal. All right, I grabbed these speakers. I'm going to have to test them. I see there's the plug. I think you plug this one into that one. I mean, we can always test them out. What do you think? You want to test them out and see, see what they sound like or whatever. I need a blade. I need a blade. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that off of there now. The only thing I hate about some of them places is the, the way that they just slap stickers on everything. And it's just... It's going to be a lot of goo going getting that off. Like, it's just ridiculous. They just It's, it's overkill. It really is. It's absolutely overkill. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Yeah, I think you just run the one speaker to the other one, plug this one in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug. Let's see. Come on. There we go. All right, so we'll plug this one into that one. Plug this one into... The headphone jack, that should work. Then you plug this one into. So I don't think they're supposed to charge. There's another plug on this one, so I don't know. USB power. All right, so this is something we're going to have to do later because the other one is the power, which I don't have one of them cords right avail ready available. So... <clears throat> we'll have to check them out later and see if they work. So they're pretty cool. So I picked these up because they are Orvis. They're women's. They're boat shoes. Whenever you see the string going alongside like that, um, this is like a like a pinched pinched toe or whatever. This is these are boat shoes. So these are just like slip on casual. These are made in USA too. Um, these might be vintage. I'm not sure. There's a little bit of tread gone, but for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. Um, there's no like wear around them, so I think I could probably get about 30 bucks for these, so not too bad. So pretty good pickup. This is my stuff. You guys can't see this stuff. This is Valentine's Day stuff. No peeking. All right, now next over there. And last but not least, we have the rest in from the community aid so i did see a stain on this sweater i didn't see one when i was in the store but i did notice maybe it's on the sleeve yeah there's a little stain on the sleeve right there not too bad it might actually be something i can get out there's another one on this sleeve too i didn't notice that there was stains on it or i probably wouldn't have picked it up but um, still really cool. I shouldn't have any problems selling it. It does have some stains on it. It has some collar stain. But this is the NHL Boston Bruins. Really cool. Um, I don't even know if that team is still the same team. I don't follow hockey. So it could be different. It could be the same. But all in all, still really cool find. I think it's a Salem. Yeah, this is a Salem sportswear. This is made in USA. It's an extra large. Really dope sweater. Probably something that I could wear. Like, but... I just, I don't know, a lot of this, that stuff I just don't wear. Here's another good brand that you guys want to look for. It's called Allegria. These are nursing clogs, and these are really, really cool. As soon as I seen the design on them, I was like, yeah, I got to pick them up. They were $8. So I paid 8 bucks for these, and they should sell for about $35. There's a little bit of... a little bit of dirt on the inside. Like, they're not perfect on the inside, but on the outside, they're fine. But, um... Yeah, not bad. They're a little worn right here, too. So maybe not the best pickup. I'll probably get like 30 bucks for them. But they're, they're, they'll sell really fast. Their sell-through rate is like ridiculous. So they just go. Because they're career shoes. Like um, I just kind of just threw these puzzles in. I wasn't really going to get them, but I did pick them up. I only buy this type of stuff when it's new. I actually haven't sold a puzzle in forever. Like a puzzle or a game 
I haven't sold in a long time, so I don't know. Maybe I just need to try to move most of that stuff over to Amazon because it's starting to pile up and I really don't have anywhere to put it. So I need to really think it through what I'm picking up. I see them selling and then I pick them up and then mine don't sell. So I don't understand. I know that my prices are okay. I don't know. Maybe I need to add shipping to them. You know, sometimes certain items sell better when you don't have free shipping. So I don't know. It's a mystery, I tell you. All right, so these are actually on the boutique table, but they weren't super overpriced. They're only priced for $8, and these are coach. These are really, really cute. These are really cool, like a canvas slip-on coach. Um, I'm hoping that they're authentic. They're in very good condition. Like, all I got to do is just clean. There's a little bit of dirt. Little bit of dirt on this on the tip of this on the soles, but other than that, and that's easy to clean. You just um you don't even need soap for that. You can just take take a, a wet rag. Um you can't get that off with a brush on that smooth part, like on the converse. You just take a wet rag and you just gotta put your elbow grease into it and just do it that way. Um I don't see. I don't know why they were just sitting there. I don't know. I would imagine they're authentic. I have like memory foam underneath. These are in pretty good shape. They're not bad. A little dusty. They're leather in the back. So leather on the back. They're cute. Um, probably like 30 bucks for them. Coach shoes are not they're not super valuable, but I'll get a few bucks for them. And I got a hat. Rawr. I got that for, got the little teeth on it. Arr. I got this for my grandson. The last hat that I bought was, a, I, I think it was Nike or something. It didn't fit him. So I was like, okay, this one looks a little bit bigger. That one might have been a baby hat. And I don't know, all, all the kids in my family all got big heads. I don't know. I'm like a seven and a quarter. So I'm not, it doesn't, I don't have like a gigantic head, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's growing, I guess. They grow. They don't stay little forever. Okay, so... Man, this basement it makes me itchy. It really does. It makes you itchy. My, it gets to my nose. Like, there's just a lot of dust down here. It drives me nuts. Okay, so I pulled... Oh, it does have a little rip inside. Not a big deal. It's only one. Alright, so this was... It was $12.99. It's a... This is called a herringbone. That's called a herringbone pattern. When you see the zigzag, kind of like chevron, whatever, but it's called herringbone. Um, a full length. This is a full length trench. And it's not a super, super great brand, but not a bad one either. It's 100% wool. It is a Polo University Club by Ralph Lauren. So um, this is probably worth about $100. It might be worth a little bit more than that. It's made in USA, so it's definitely vintage. Um, I don't know what it's worth. It might be worth more than what I think it's worth. It could be worth up to $200. But I'm definitely going to get at least $100 for this. So this was worth the while. This would pay for my entire day for this. And I have another, another trench over there. Um, if you ever find them Harris Tweed trenches, pick them up. They're worth a ton, too. They're worth a hundred or more, yeah. So, haven't found one yet. Um, I think I may have found one a couple years ago. I don't remember, but other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show you what I got for my wife because it's in this bag. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I still got to get her flowers and candy and all that stuff. But I figure Sunday, I'll just go out Sunday and get all that stuff because flowers are going to die. Candy's going to melt. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the people that come into my channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Peace out.